The third Monday of every year in the United States is set aside for us to pay respects to a great man who changed this country forever. A man who motivated thousands to fight for change. Robert E. Lee. Wait, that's, that's not right. Stonewall Jackson. No, that, that's not right either. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And this is Black Friday. If you're 30 and below, MLK Day has been a thing your entire life. Unless you live in some backward state that refused to recognize the holiday. I honestly thought the day was just a given until I heard Public Enemy song by the time I could terrorism. While playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, which was over a decade after the song came out, I had to look up exactly what Sister Soldier was talking about when she said, A white supremacist scheming to destroy the national celebration of Martin Luther King's birthday. This was in the days before almost everyone had a computer at home and smartphones weren't even a thing. I was flabbergasted when I finally looked it up. See, Arizona voted to no longer recognize MLK Day in 1987 and didn't recognize it again until 1992. New Hampshire didn't recognize the holiday until 1999 and Utah didn't recognize it until the year 2000. That's insane considering it had already been a federal holiday since 1986. The push to make MLK Day a holiday starts in 1968, when Representative John Conyers introduces a motion to make it a federal holiday. It doesn't pass, but he keeps doing it for 11 years straight, before he gets a vote for it in 1979. The vote fails, but people reorganize. Stevie Wonder releases a song called Happy Birthday in celebration of Dr. King. There's a march on Washington put together by the King Center and Coretta Scott King. And then 6 million people sign a petition. It goes up for a second vote, this time in the House, with bipartisan support, including Newt Gingrich giving a speech in favor of the holiday. The Senate is a little different. They tried to filibuster the bill, and when that didn't work, they provided a 400-page document claiming Dr. King was a communist. The bill manages to get passed in a single vote. President Reagan signs it into laws stating 1986 would be the first year with MLK Day as a federal holiday. Still, a lot of states aren't eager to recognize the holiday and don't get on board right away. Others are eager to jump off the train or make changes. Arizona is obviously the most notable offender, just removing the holiday completely. They learned their lesson when the NFL moved the Super Bowl to California, causing the state to lose a little over $100 million. A few states already had days to pay tribute to Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. That's not okay, but Lee Day had been a holiday in Texas since 1931, and they changed it to Confederate Heroes Days in 1973. That's an entirely different video because people have been trying for decades to get that holiday removed or changed. Virginia is a weird one. They already had MLK Day in 1978. Further back in 1889, they already had Robert E. Lee Day. And in 1904, they changed it to Lee Jackson Day to include Stonewall Jackson. After the federal government makes MLK Day a national holiday, they turn it into Lee Jackson King Day. Until 2000, when Governor Jim Gilmore realizes this is a terrible idea because Lee and Jackson were fighting to own people like King. They split the days until 2020, because during the George Floyd uprising, someone decides, let's just get rid of Lee Jackson Day and no logical person disagrees. But some states introduced Lee Day or combined the days after MLK Day became a national holiday for no real reason. Take for example Arkansas. They already had a holiday for Robert E. Lee since 1947. They introduced MLK Day in 1983 to get ahead of the curve and they gave state employees a choice. You can have the day off for your birthday, MLK Day on the 16th, or Robert E. Lee Day on the 19th. It was a mess. So in 1985, someone came up with a solution, Lee King Day, and it stayed that way until 2017. But don't worry, Robert E. Lee still has his day. It's in October now. I wish I could say George Floyd's death and the subsequent protests convinced every state to drop Lee and Jackson completely, or at least separate them from MLK Day, but it just didn't. Florida and Tennessee still celebrate Lee Day, they just do it on the 19th. And if that happens to fall on the third Monday of the year, well, it just happens. Mississippi and Alabama are still planning to celebrate Lee King Day this year. Representative Chris England is fighting to change that in Alabama. 
He's trying to get leave dropped from MLK Day, as well as the removal of Confederate Memorial Day and a day honoring Jefferson Davis. He's got some fire quotes like calling Jefferson Davis a traitor and a racist who his home state of Mississippi doesn't even acknowledge. But his quotes about MLK Day are what's important right now. I think it says a lot about Alabama that despite the tailwinds blowing in the opposing direction, we still hold on to that history. We need to exercise the demons. Some of the best ways to do that are to get rid of Jefferson Davis's holiday and separate MLK and Robert E. Lee. You're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this and talking about a holiday that most states have recognized and fully embraced. A holiday that is celebrated in Canada, Japan, and the Netherlands. I'm telling you this because the holiday is a reminder of just how hard Dr. King and millions of others had to fight for us to move toward any type of real equality in this country. As a kid, I didn't really understand just how significant MLK Day was, or how people were still fighting against it, or trying to couple it with Confederate generals. Don't get me wrong, I knew who MLK was, but I took it as a given that we were all in the same mindset across the country. Your world is really small as a child. The concept of 6 million people working over a decade to accomplish something just seems insane, especially in a pre-social media world. Going forward, we shouldn't just kick up our feet on MLK Day and relax as if the job is done. But it's like Chuck D said, I'm counting down the day deserving fitting for a king.